sounds really gay, but still one of the best meditation activities. <laughs> Dishy. No, I ran out of tacos. What do? So today has been a weird day. Um, I woke up to my mom coming home and saying she's been in a car accident. Come to find out she was rear-ended. Um, and I kind of feel shitty because on some level I felt like, I don't know, I caused this somehow. Which turned out to be true. Apparently she was going to the grocery store to make more meat for me or for us because I had just recently told her about how much I just loved her chicken and her food so much and when my relatives came over and pretty much took everything to go I was so devastated and it marked her and she was on her way to essentially make more for me and it's like god dude how much more like grateful and humble and I guess fucking blessed I am but prayers are welcome, of course, um, to be recovery to my mom. Car got hit. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but hope everything works out smoothly. Um, then I spent a good bit of my time watching, stumbled upon Noisy, the, like, the, I think it's like an MTV series. But I started watching the Atlanta bit, and so they were talking about essentially the evolution of trap music, right? So Migos, Two Chains, I Love McConan, um, this other dude, uh, and it was just fucking just humbling to see how like, yeah, I mean, you see like the uh, rock star I saw that. They're projected to live in the media, but you don't see, like, all the bullshit that they had to go through, you know, how, like, essentially how a lifestyle of, like, drugs and violence and gangbang just fueled this, I guess, creative drive to essentially put it out into music in a way that people could experience and essentially kind of... Um, on some small way, live what they're living through, so, right? So, when you hear them rapping about the music, it's good. When you hear them rapping about shit, it's, it's not something that just they're making up, but they're actually living it. And it just kind of makes me not only humble that, despite all that, they just have, like, an insane, like a fucking insane work ethic, like they're constantly, they are literally live in the studio, just putting music out, putting music out, putting music out, and also I guess just blessed and grateful that, you know, on some level, maybe I didn't have to experience some of the things that they had to, you know, like losing friends to violence, you know, or just losing family members. Or having to do things that you know later on might cause repercussions, you know. So it's it was just like a really humbling and eye opening experience or episode to watch. So and then it also kind of just I felt like I was just like, what the fuck am I doing, dude? Like I feel like I'm just wasting my time. These dudes, like despite all this shit, they just fucking live to create and here I am being fucking lazy about bullshit so I guess it just kind of inspired me more you know so that was my day then just got on here and helped some more people out I got blocked from Craigslist temporarily and then that got fixed that was actually really cool it had never happened to me um and then planning on working out um, I actually think what I'm going to do, to kind of punish myself for not having been in the gym, is to do a whole week of my home workout, because on some level it's actually a lot harder 
then my gym workouts just I just do so fucking much in that amount of time. So I'm like telling myself, well, if you want to go to the gym, prove to yourself that you actually committed, right? So I'm gonna spend this whole week doing the home workouts. And then if I successfully stick in, then I'll go to the gym. Kind of like an upgrade or evolution. And just like a good segue to just get myself back into that flow. Um, and trying to, I guess, get more reading in for this fucking intro to engineering class. Still need to read chapter, finish chapter two, which is the design part. And then chapter three, which is where they talk about project management. It's actually what we touched on last class. So I got some shit to catch up on. And then I also um, need to get back on my Rosetta Stone because I'm trying to learn Mandarin. So planning on doing that probably right after um, pressing the stop button on this and moving on to the program. Um, should be a pretty nice day and trying to figure out the situation with my soccer just start playing FIFA again for the IQ but I'm definitely missing being on the field got holes in my cleats so I'm thinking about just fucking thugging it out <laughs> like I'm always done I don't know what happens but I'm really fucking hard on my shit I just end up always breaking my shoes so should be fun I love this shit. It's like inspiring me to just don't fucking stop and keep going. So, one, two, three, four, five. Super Mario. Double. T.